Do whales have belly buttons? What do sea stars eat? What are starfish made of? G'day wildlife friends, it's Nathan from the Wildlife Movement here with your questions of the week. Every week we pick three questions to answer from the students that we've worked with or from our viewers to spread the message that nature is an amazing place. If you have any questions, make sure that you let us know in the comments below and we may answer them in a future video. Our first question for this week came in from Bo, who wanted to know, do whales have belly buttons? That is a fantastic question, Bo, and it's not something that I've ever thought about before. Before I answer that question, we should probably have a think about what a belly button actually is. Our belly button is actually a scar that is left over from when we were born. When we are growing inside of our mum's belly, we are actually connected to her through a special tube called an umbilical cord, which which helps us to get all of the nutrients that we need in order to develop. When we are born, our umbilical cord is cut and we are left with a scar that forms into our belly button. Just like humans, baby whales develop inside of their mother's bellies and they have umbilical cords as well. When they are born, their umbilical cord falls off quite easily and baby whales are left with belly buttons. Next time you're looking at a picture of the underside of a whale, make sure that you have a look and see whether you can notice their belly button. Our second question for this week comes in from Azaria and she wanted to know, what do sea snakes eat? Azaria, thank you so much for watching last week's question of the week video and for coming up with such a fantastic question. Sea snakes are carnivores, which means that they eat other animals. Most species of sea snake prefer to eat eels, but they also eat other animals like fish, mollusks, prawns and fish eggs. Sea snakes are highly venomous and they use their venom to help them to catch their prey. They bite their prey and they inject their venom using two small fangs, which eventually leads to paralysis. They then swallow their prey whole and their food digests over the next couple of days or weeks. Our third question for this week comes in from one of the children at our vacation care programs who wanted to know, what are starfish made of? Sea stars have a hard and rough outer skin that feels a lot like sandpaper. Their skin is made of tiny little rods, crosses or plates called ossicles. These ossicles are made of calcium carbonate and are joined together by a flexible tissue called catch connective tissue. Some species of sea star also have pointy spines or rounded bumps called tubercles on their outer surface as well. Well that wraps it up for this week's question of the week video. If you found this video interesting or if you learned something new please make sure that you give this video a like and check out the rest of the videos in our question of the week playlist which can be found right here to learn more amazing animal facts. Thank you for being so amazing and for sticking around to the end of the video. Until next time, keep living the wild life.